हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू इन्फिनिटी लैन नीट चैनल दिस इज सुरेश फैकल्टी ऑफ केमिस्ट्री आज हम चर्चा करने वाले ऑर्डर ऑफ रिएक्शन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक केमिकल काइनेटिक्स का हिसाब से सो फ्रॉम द केमिकल काइनेटिक्स यू आर एक्सपेक्टेड टू गेट वन मॉर्क वन क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम ऑर्डर ऑफ अ रिएक्शन लेट्स सी विदाउट एनी वेस्ट ऑफ टाइम वाट इज एन ऑर्डर ऑफ अ रिएक्शन सो फॉर ए केमिकल रिएक्शन लेट एस से ये इज गिविंग राइज टू द प्रोडक्ट and its rate law is given as k a to the power n and when n is going to be order of a reaction so it is supposed to be taken from the experimental data so let us say an example let uh, a moles of a combine with b moles of b and gives rise to its respective products so here the small a and the small b indicates that they are the stoichiometric numbers but rate law can be written as a to the power k is e but the rate law can be explained on the basis of rate is equal to k a to the power x and uh, b to the power y and x is said to be rate with respect to, to a and b y is said to be rate with respect to, to b and overall order of the rate is going to be if the reaction is given a moles of a combines with b moles of b and gives rise a product and the rate law experimentally it is determined as rate is equal to k a to the power x and b to the power y and x and y are said to be order with respect respect to, to a order y is the order with respect to, to b so the overall order of the reaction can be given as x plus y so it is purely experimentally determined value so in the neat examination you need to focus on the how the order and the rate constant are dependent and also more focus emphasis is given on the basis of zero order and the first order of the reaction let us quickly see the nature of the zero order reaction for the zero order reaction rate is given as k a to the power 0 i would say rate is equal to k so in this for zero order reaction a simple trick i want to give you the rate constant unit is exactly equal to the rate of a reaction so integrated version of this zero order can be given as k is equal to a t minus a not upon t so this is the integrated rate constant for this zero order reaction where a not is initial concentration of the reactant at is the concentration of the a at time t and it is your time and based on that you can also see a graph and that is concentration of a with respect to, to time t is going to be a straight line with a negative slope and the slope is given as minus k and also i just want to say the half life the time required to consume half of the reactant is called as a half life this half life can be given as t half is equal to a not by 2k so these are the simple formulas as far as the zero order is concerned it is purely based on the ncert and we are going to see the questions based on that so t half is directly proportional to a not if we take t half and concentration of a as concentration of a is increased t of for the zero order is going to be increased and let us talk about the first order reaction quickly so let us talk about the first order reaction for the first order reaction if a gives rise to product so the rate of a reaction is equal to k a to the power 1 so it is said to be first order reaction and the unit is going to be second inverse for the k 
and integrated rate expression for the first order reaction is going to be k is equal to 2.303 by t log to the base 10 of a naught by a t k is the rate constant for the first order reaction and t is the time and a is the initial concentration a naught and a t is the concentration of a at a time t let us talk about the graph for this if you talk about log concentration of a upon time t it is going to be again a straight line with a negative slope the slope is going to be minus k by 2.303 so based on the graphs also you are going to get a, a question from the neat examination from the ncrt and also t half can be given as half life for the first order reaction is equal to 0 0.693 by k and you can say t half half life for the first order reaction is independent on the initial concentration therefore i would like to say as concentration of a increased t half never changes it is going to be a parallel line with concentration of a so based on this zero order this is the formula and based on the first order these are the simplest formulas you can connect directly with ncrt and we'll quickly see how the question multiple choice questions can be generated from the neat examination based on this stuff let us see which of the following statement is not correct about the order of a reaction which is not correct we have to say a negative sense so the order of reaction can be fractional number yes it is true order of the reaction can be zero or can be any number and it can be fractional and order of a reaction is experimentally determined not a theoretical and hypothetical and it is experimentally determined quantity which is correct the order of a reaction is always equal to the sum of the stoichiometric numbers no the stoichiometric number alag ho sakte and experimental numbers bhi alag ho sakte ye galat baat hai by looking at the balanced chemical reaction mind it it is difficult and it is wrong to say the order of a reaction for any way the order of a reaction is the sum of the powers of the molar concentration reactants in the rate law expression ka hisab se likh sakte kyunki rate law expression sirf experimentally determined value hoga and uh, this is the correct statement this is correct statement usme option c is the wrong statement therefore option c is the correct answer for this question so let's see quickly the rate of a reaction is equal to the rate constant so the order of a reaction is just we discussed about for the zero order reaction the rate is equal to k a to the power zero this is a zero order reaction therefore the dimension of the rate is equal to the dimension of the rate constant k so this is for the zero order reaction simple answer you can give it without checking at anything and also you see the rate constant the rate of first order reaction is this much at 0.5 molar concentration of the reactant then it is half life of the reaction so half life of the reaction you can calculate by taking t half is equal to 0.693 by k so from this you can calculate it is the rate constant from dx by dt is equal to 1.5 into 10 power minus 2 this is the rate of the reaction so you can calculate k is equal to when a is equal to 0 0.5 molar and rate is equal to k into concentration of a so the rate value is given this much and rate constant you have to calculate and a concentration is given as 0 0.5 so by doing so the k value is sup supposed to be 1.5 into 10 power minus 2 by 0 0.5 it is coming to be k value rate constant for this given reaction is 3 into 10 power minus 2 minute inverse from there you can use t half is equal to 0 0.693 by k and the first order reaction the half life is t half 0 0.693 by k 0 0.693 the k value is given 3 into 10 power minus 2 that value is going to be 23.1 
so that it is 23.1 option b is the correct answer for this question so like this simple ncert based topics are connected to the question one more question we can do it it is a logical question the rate of a reaction 2NO plus Cl2 gives rise to 2NO Cl is given by the rate equation. Rate law is given. Rate is equal to K NO2 square dot Cl2 molar concentration and the value of the rate constant can be increased by it. So this is the trap. The options are all trap. Rate constant is independent on anything except temperature and the stoichiometry. So that whatever the things are given increase in the temperature is the only option that can give for this so this type of questions are so dangerous i am telling again the rate constant is only depend on the temperature and the stoichiometric representation of the reaction not anything and it is dependent on this temperature only but not on the concentrations and my answer is going to be a and one more the first order reaction has a rate constant 1.1 into 1.15 into 10 power minus 3 seconds. How long will 5 gram of this is reduced to 3 gram? So 5 grams with 3 grams pounds ne ke liye kitna de lege gapko. So you can say K is equal to 2.303 by T log A naught by AT. So, A naught is given 5 grams, A T is given as 3 grams and you have to calculate the T and K value is already given 1.15 into 10 power minus 3. If you solve so, you are going to see T is equal to T comes that side, K comes this side, T is equal to 2.303 by K log A naught by A or R naught by R. So, R naught initial it is 5 grams and it is becomes 3 grams right it is 2.303 upon 1.15 into 10 power minus 3 so on doing so temperature on simplifying it is going to be log 5 by 3 can be written as log 5 minus log 3 from there you can calculate temperature time is coming to be triple 4 nearly the value is coming to be so the option b is the correct answer for this and also one more important same kind of things the rate constant for the first order reaction 60 second inverse so k value is given and how much time it will take to reduce initial concentration 1 by 16 tuck anion it if initially it is 1 at at time t it is supposed to be 1 by 16 so that you can say again time is equal to 2.303 by k log a naught by a t so, A naught is given as 1 and A t is going to be 1 by 16. So, 1 by 1 by 16 is going to be 16. That is I want to say here. So, 2.303 by K log A naught by A t or R naught by R. It is going to be 2.303. This rate constant is given as 60 second inverse and log 1 upon 1 by 16. So, that 16 goes there. 16 goes there. You can say 2.303 in log 16. Log 16, I just want to write as a 4 square. So, it is going to be written as T is equal to 2.303 upon 60 into 4 square written, written as 2 log 4. So, from there you are going to say T value is solved to be T is equal to 4.6 into 10 to the power of minus 2 approximately you are going to get the option is going to be A. Right? And one more question we can discuss. The first order reaction is 50% completed in 1.26 into 10 power 14 seconds that much time. I'm a, I want to ask you how much time will it take to 100% completion? So again we can say time taken for the reaction. 2.303 upon k log a naught by a t. So, if the reaction is 100 percent completed, so the concentration at a time t is going to be 0. If you put that t is equal to 2.303 by k 
log let it be a not upon 0 anything is divided with 0 i just want to say t take it is infinite time so first order reaction never and ever proceed till completion it is a simple logical question that you can get it that answer is going to be infinite and like that so many questions that we can connect with the ncrt and we can expect the question from the neat examination and uh, let us do very important and it is like a trap again which of the following statement is not correct for the catalyst catalyst is a substance used in the reaction and it is accelerate or deaccelerate the reaction rate it may increase the speed of reaction or it may decrease the speed of reaction but what i mean to say this is a substance which is not actually chemically involved in it and it is not actually initiating first of all this catalyst is going to start it is not starting the reaction never initiate the reaction but it is going to accelerate the reaction once the reaction started that is the important point and catalyst only effective for those reactions spontaneous reaction ke liye agar spontaneous reaction nahi hoga ye reaction ka catalyst ka effect bhi nahi hoga jaise delta g negative hona chahiye tab bhi ye catalyst ka effect shuru hota hai and catalyst never and ever alter the delta g value and these are the important features as far as the catalyst is concerned and I want to say catalyst is going to influence both forward as well as a backward reaction with the same rate. So I just want to say uh, which of the following is not correct. It alters delta G of the reaction. It is a wrong statement. Catalyst is going to take an alternative pathway of a reaction where its activation energy is going to Okay, and I want to say for this is the wrong statement is it alters delta G of the reaction a bilkul galat statement hai, which is not correct. Mera option is going to be B. And also these are the theoretical and the logical oriented questions as far as the uh, chemical kinetics are concerned. And you can see again one more order of reaction. The value of the rate constant of pseudo first order reaction is depends on the concentration of the reactant present in a small amount and depends on the concentration of the reactants present in excess also it independent on the concentration of the reactant and it depends only on temperature i already mentioned this is a very important statement the students repeatedly go for the wrong statements and the wrong answer this kind of questions when it is said that rate constant no one in the world can change the rate constant except temperature and of course stoichiometry so whatever the concentration is increased or decreased it doesn't matter never and ever cabinet depend karta hai lekin temperature may depend kar sakte and my answer is going to be option d is the correct answer for this question so like that when you go and connect with the ncrt textbook based on the order we are going to get zero order first order and uh, the pseudo first order and the formula based and the graphical based questions are very very important and uh, hope you enjoyed this session please like and share and subscribe to infinity learn need channel thank you very much